I've had a few people ask me to do a um, video about my 60mm hub motors. Um, they're 63, um, the same standard that's inside of the 63 outliner motor, um, but I've upgraded the magnets to make them thicker. The can um, around it is thicker to stop eddy currents from being released, um, as well as the bearings are a lot bigger than my 50mm uh, motor. The locking system is different, I have shown that in uh, one of my other videos. Um, basically, this has 85mm uh, wheels on the back, some um, ABAC 11 um, clone from Inertion, um, they're 83mm. Now, my rear clean isn't as good as the front ones, um, this is a slippery surface, but the back wheels are quite slippery, the front is a little bit more grippy. Um, but I think they look quite nice. Um, I have had the cables on the front as well, which uh, makes a nice little blend. But um, yeah, it's on the carbon fiber deck, made by Inertion. It's got the space cell, 10 cell um, battery pack inside of it. That's done with LG um, 18650 HE2 cells. Um, so it's actually a really good battery pack. Um, this is what it looks like from the bottom view. Um, it's quite nice and sleek. Uh, as you can see, there's a lip here. One thing that uh, I didn't show in my last video, is there's actually four screw holes right here, which can be used for mounting brackets to hold it, or even it's the same thread as a GoPro. Uh, so you can mount um, a GoPro underneath this if you have the right connection which I thought was really good and really smart from Jason from Inertion. But um, front of the board with the hub motors on. I do have my risers on, I keep them on because I change between my belt drive, the 50s, the 60 hub motors um, all the time. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you a video of it riding up one of the steepest hills in my area. I go down this hill every single day um, to catch a bus on my longboard. Um, it's, I think, from me dropping in from going from one of my other, um, one of the main streets on the road that is sloped and then dropping into down this hill. Um, I've gotten about 60 k's um, down it. Not really trying to go fast, but um, that's around about the extent of the hill. I will get a uh, angle test on the road to see exactly what angle it is as well, and I'm going to try to ride up it. Um, I've seen somebody do this once before on a twin 16mm um, um, motor on the back, and uh, it did it quite well, um, but it did start to sort of lag at the top, and that was on a 3.2 gear ratio. So on a one-on-one -on -one gear ratio, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so this is a nice little hill, um, not massive, about 10 degrees, um, so what I'll do is I will start from down the bottom, right down the bottom behind that tree, um, and then come up, up to the top, there. Okay, so this is actually the first time I've ever done this up this hill. Uh, with this board. As I said, I've done it with a belt, well, seen somebody do it with a belt drive. Um, I think these hub motors are going to be powerful enough, but uh, let's hope, wait and see. I'm going to walk down. I'll probably edit the video so you don't have to watch me, but uh, I'll see you on the, at the top.
Okay, so that was the ride. I haven't uh, changed the motors that I was using or anything. These are still the same motors. Um, they're not particularly hot at all. Um, same sort of temperature that you would expect from a normal motor. I wasn't gunning it up the hill, um, but these are my hub motors.